The Education Channel's Coach's Corner continues with Coach Porter, our swim coach, as we get set for the wrap-up of the wrestling season. The swim season also is coming down to the final few uh, final few meets. And uh, Coach, tell us where we're at right now, what our record is, and what we still have left to go before the uh, the end of the season. Um, we all we have left to do now is state. We finished up this weekend what traditionally had been called our conference, but this year it was turned into a Centennial Invitational due to the fact that Centennial Conference was dissolved. Um, our record, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not real positive of the exact number. I know we've, we've won more than we've lost again this year. Uh, we, we scored second out of the Centennial Invitational. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, my boys were first, my girls were second this weekend which is a big deal. So our boys defeated Enid and our girls only lost to Enid by just a very few points. And that is a huge thing because Enid girls finished third overall in the state last year. Okay. Uh, what about state qualifiers? Uh, did we fare well in that on boys and girls sides? Yes, we did. I ended up this year with 25 kids in the water. Um, and I'm taking 16 of them to state this year. Not all of them are individual qualifiers. Um, there are four boys and four girls who are only going for relays, but uh, we had more individual qualifiers this year than we have in the last few as well. Where's our best opportunity to place high in the state tournament? Ooh, that's, that's funny. I was just looking at that this morning. Um, Andrew Lawrence is seated second right now in the 100 breaststroke, um, but that is overall they, they keep us a running report of everybody in the state who's qualified and which events, and they rank them. So right now he's seated second, but if the person seated in front of him doesn't decide to swim that, then he'll bump to first. Um, and he's also seated in the top eight in his 200 individual medley. Uh, Kyle Barrick is seated um, top 12 in his 50 and 100 freestyle. And Garrett Myers is seated uh, quite high in the 200 and 500 as well. But I would say that our best chance this year on high points is going to go on our boys team. Very good. Uh, now, is the state meet still in Oklahoma City? And if so, tell us uh, how that will run as far as times and days. Um, yes, it is. The, the meet starts on February 17th, which is a Friday, and that'll be prelims. And then uh, Saturday will be finals. And because swimming is divided into 6A and 5A, uh, this year, 5A swims in the morning and 6A will swim in the afternoon. So if folks want to go, go down, it'll be a Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. Sure. 2 o'clock, I think, is what time our warm-ups start each day. Well, was this an easier season for you with a home pool, Coach? Mm, yes and no. The yeah. home pool made it great, but I had, I had 15 new swimmers this year, so it was a lot to get them all trained in what they were doing. But of those 15 new swimmers, I'm taking... Uh, four brand new ones to state this year. So all in all, it was a successful season. And hopefully the growth will continue the program. I know if you have that many new swimmers out each year, something's going right with the program. Oh, yeah. I, you know, and each year you lose seniors. So it's you have to have something there on a feeder program to get them back in. Yeah. Who's going who's gonna to be the favorite to win the boys' state meet? Who's going to be the favorite to win the girls' state meet? Oh, as usual, it's going to probably boil down to Jinx Union or Edmund North. Um, Edmund North girls were first in the state last year, and of course Jinx boys were, but uh, both have suffered considerable losses in talent because of their senior pool last year. They had a couple, each had a couple of state champions. Uh, Bartlesville boys. Bartlesville boys are going to be a very strong competitor for first place this year. Their boys team is very deep in talent. So I would I would bet that Bartlesville moves up quite a bit. I'm hoping that our boys will finish in the top eight this year, and I'm hoping for a top ten finish for girls. Outstanding. Coach, good luck to you. Thank you. Coach Porter with our swim program as they approach the state meet as well. And that's this week's edition of the Education Station's Coach's Corner.